okay this is the camp that we have come as you can see them uh, ready to get to their workplaces So this is where they are living. Mama, that's Uba. That's Uba, Mama. It's a Bisea. Okay. That's Uba. So you can interview this one. Okay. You just have the background of this one. Okay. Hello, welcome viewers. This is home and abroad. We are live here at the Gambaga community. In fact, we are here to interact with the people that they have accused them of being witches and wizards. And we want to get to interact with them to know actually what brought them over here. So, my brother, uh, they have been accused of witches and wizards. How truth is about this? For the truth of the matter is, most of them, they normally accuse them of being witches or wizards. And for now, okay. if someone is being accused of being a witch or a wizard, here we have a camp that we normally takes good care of them. Okay. So when you run to this place, your life is at a safer place. So meaning you are running here for safety or protection? Yes, for protection. Okay. That is what we normally okay. do here. But I learned uh, sometimes you slaughter an animal uh, to confirm whether the person is a witch or a wizard. How to do? Normally, those parts was born at the days. Okay. But this time round, okay. no more slaughtering no of animals. No more slaughtering. Yes. You just run here for safety, for safety because the people want to lynch you or to just kill you. Uh -huh. So you just run so for safety. They run here for safety. Okay. Okay. So do the accusers normally follow here? Some of them they don't follow. Okay. The person that they accuse will just come and that ends it. Okay. That the one who accused the person will not follow. Okay. Because they said if they see those people that they've accused at okay. their various communities, okay. they will kill them. They will kill so them. because of that, they run here for safety. For safety. All right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, her name first. Yuri. And then where she Our comes Bla from. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what do you call it? Uh, that she, what actually landed Brought her here. Yeah, yeah. And then will she like to go back home? Okay. And then the Now, Yuri Nyalaba. Yalan. Our beloved is somewhere. Sankaniki, you know. Yira Sambu. Sambu. Good. My name is Awabila Besangma. Okay. I am from Sambik. Okay. Hmm. Uh, one bono bang Syria. Naika bonda tashi pana in Tunya Kabila and one tati. So Dinda Dira. Udira Udira Yun Kakara. Uyo Nyalana. Kayan and dear. So Thank you, Lala. Um, I was home and somebody was sick. The child was sick. And in the process, he said he was dreaming myself. He dreamed to see me. And then, not quite long, another woman was sick. And they sent the woman to Bolga. And at the end of it, they said it was myself and my husband 
who brought her, who brought her some food, like spiritually, and that is why she, they, they they accused me of. Hmm. So bada bachana bada bachang be ko 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 chana ko ko ni da ni so do da sim chana ko ba ye mo ko chan ko ba nyama ni chan ko ba nyama be pim ni so when it happened like that we decided that well then let's go to where we can verify and that was gambaga then the people decided not to come they said they were not coming because if they come and it happened that i am right who will pay their bill okay because if you are wrong you have to pay it is only when you are right you do not so she said yes let's go then they said they won't go and they don't also want to see me in the town so what happened was that my husband and the brother had to bring me here nobody came again and that is how i ended up in the camp tokanwa wene inye sahane kuli emburbe imbone ko bakwa imbona mpakwa ni dan kane muka bi wonde yini manda na bi furi mon ka da to basi ka bra ka sambi mo chana Okay. Simply, I would not like to go. Okay. And the reason is this: there is nobody at home. My husband is now late, and even I was pregnant and gave birth newly when they chased me away. Now that I'm here, nobody has ever visited me to see how the children are. So what should I go back home to do? I should go back to who? There's no place I like going. I cannot go. This is how this innocent woman landed herself here in the Gambaga which is camp. A pregnant woman being chased out of her matrimonial home just because someone has accused her of being a witch. Some people go ahead to kill the accusers. The second video you are about to watch i want you to stay tuned and listen mama are you ready the number book the number book okay okay baba are you ready bangwe ya bangwe ya eh number one ba you need a number oh number okay uh viewers this is the accusers that they have accused them of being witch and the wizard so today we are coming to interact with them to actually know what brought them here. So let's get. Ma. Eh, e yuri zenabo ya. Eh, zenabo bonge. Zenabo bonge bonda ta sipana. Barayi mara soka kyapana. Barayi sila soki kyapana. Ho wula wula kabrai si soma, dranya la wula wula. Anda ko de nan biye ta kun so de kun ser pere fi kyapana yar mana ma ngba o biye. Kisipia <laughs> According to the first, according to the lady, okay. Madame Ramatu, we asked her, her purpose of a reason for being here. And what she's telling her is that that she was just asleep one night and then the uh, step husband okay. came to her and told her that she was a witch because their daughter or son is it a daughter a do their daughter mm. sees her in her dreams okay and as such she, she was declared a witch wow. and the judgment was that now that she, she was a family member mm. 
they couldn't stay with her any longer. Sorry. So that made her to migrate to Gambaga to the camp here. Okay. For safety. For safety. And according to Nabor, the man, the wizard, he said that that he was also in his house one day. Okay. And then they came and alleged that mm. he has bewitched a certain old man who is older than him. Mm. And he said, ah, how can me, a small boy, bewitch such an older person? Oh. So the, the, that person, those who alleged the parents or the, the family, the family of that man became furious okay. and told him that either he leave the town or they kill him. So that made him to run for shelter in the Gamba come here. Majinabo. To kasuna nyi chana be Gamba oma. Embori labon kuli inirbene. Embori labon kuli nakalaso. Okay. So, my second interaction is that I am asking Madame Zenabo whether she would like to reintegrate with her family to go back to her original community. And she stay telling me that that the husband is no more and she has nobody to take care of her over there. So her final decision is to remain in the camp for safety. Baba. Okay, as at now, according to Madame Zendabu, if not her biological father's house in the, that community, she's not welcome into anybody's premises in that very uh, prim, uh, com community any longer. <laughs> okay. okay, but her concern is that. Their livelihood is a problem. So whoever, any philanthropist who can come on to their uh, on their way, uh, aid that is appreciable. That's okay. So I'm now going to interact with the wizard. Nabor, emuna tell them bo ku kampa ayi nyala inya kuni inkulwe kukule. So nukuli tamu kuni man. Okay, according to Mr. Nabor, the question, the second question was that whether she would, he would like to go back to his original community or not. And he said, Yes, I would have wished so because. My family members, my children are still there. Mm -hmm. I would have wished to go. But if the grounds are really cleared enough for me to go, okay. I wish to get back to my community. So aside they being uh, accused of being witches and wizards, they remain uh, unrelentless. They also do farming as a source of livelihood. They help people in their farms and do all sorts of jobs just to make ends meet or to bring food on the table. So, viewers, this is how far we have come. We thank you all for your support and for viewing. Thank you. <laughs>